welcome back to my channel. Tonight I am racing a mile at my local track um, for sort of a charity event, it's called Miles for Miles. I'm currently in training for a 50 kilometer ultra marathon, which is in just uh, seven days time now. Um, so I'm getting excited for that, but I thought I'd give this race a go. I booked it months ago. Um, I'm not really a short distance mile type guy, but I just thought I'd give, give, give racing a go on the track. When I got home from work today, I had this lovely parcel come here from the guys at Say Sky, um, which is a running brand from Copenhagen. They've sent me some um, running kit, I believe, uh, to try out. So hopefully I'll find in this box my kit for this evening. Oh wow, there's plenty in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Oh my god, this is mental. Um, yeah, I'm blown away that companies are starting to work with me now. Um, it's really cool. Let's have a look at some of this stuff from Say Sky. Oh wow, nice pair of shorts there. Say Sky on the back, looking nice. Nice little detail in there. They look like they're going to be a good fit. Potentially wear those tonight. Singlet by the look of things. Um, I believe this is the Universe, let me just check, Olive Oil Universe Singlet from Say Sky, there we go, wow, be a star on the front and on the back it says the same thing I believe, be a star, be star, ah this is the one, the Camo Singlet from Say Sky, nice little design there and it's got the detail in there on the side. That's probably my favourite one um, I saw on the website. So this is from their latest collection, I believe, that's just come out. Looks like this is just a plain white vest top, which is great for the warm weather we've been having recently. Oh wow, I like that, that's really smart. And you've got the, the logo there. Oh, it's really nice material as well. High performance with a casual and urban attitude. There we go. These look like the half tights. Um, nice, yeah, nice and flexible material. The eco pace tights, these are. You've got Say Sky written there on the thigh and on the rear, so on the hamstring um, in small. Probably will wear these tonight. I'll try them on, maybe these or the shorts. Um, just have a look. I think we just got two more vest tops to have a little quick look at. I think this is the same as the white one, but in blue. Oh yeah, that's really nice. And the final one is a plain black running singlet. There we go. Lovely. But yeah, tonight's race is a mile. Um, I've never run a mile. I run a 1500 meters. I think about. Four, month, um, four months, four weeks ago now at the track and I did it in 4.25 which is around what time I'd like to be able to run a mile in, around around 4.30 is the aim for tonight. So this is the top I've gone for tonight, I believe it's like the camo one, it's sort of a pixelated say sky across the front, these are the shorts I've gone for, the half tights, a um, bit revealing <laughs> but yeah, feel really nice, still nice and stretchy. Um, I'm also going to be racing in these tonight, which are the Nike Dragonflies. I've actually not raced in these yet, so it's their debut. Tried them on Tuesday night at a track meet, and they were quite good. Um, one thing I have noticed though is this, the right one has started to wear down quite a lot on the outside of the heel there. For I've only run seven kilometers in them, and that's quite a lot of wear. Um, but yeah, going to be racing in the Dragonflies and then this is my race kit from Say Sky. Okay, so we're just on the way now to Chelmsford Track, which is about a 15 minute drive from our house. Uh, my race is in an hour and a half's time, so just got enough time to get there, get warmed up, um, change into my spikes and yeah, give four and a half minutes of running around the track four times. In my race there's uh, 12 guys and I'm going in the men's A race so I'm expecting some quick guys but yeah tonight will just be a good experience for me to see how 
how well I go over the shorter distance, especially having trained a lot for the 50k race. Another priority is not to get injured, um, so I'm going to make sure I warm up, stretch properly, and yeah, excited. Very nervous actually, I'm not going to lie. Um, I think it's because it is the shorter distance um, not that I've not that. really done, and I don't really know how to pace it. Like For a 5k I know what pace I, I can maintain, whereas a mile I have no idea. So potentially could go off too quick or too slow or get boxed in or get dropped off so I have absolutely no idea but yeah be a learning curve. There we go got my number on show you the vibe and on the back nice and straight yeah yeah awesome really fast then. 420 was it? Yeah. Don't know. Uh, they stopped the clock didn't they? Yeah. Probably about 432 maybe. Yeah you went far off. Uh, yeah. How are you feeling? It's just such a weird feeling. I'm not used to that. My legs can't go any quicker. No. I don't do speed stuff. It's really quick, My body's fine. Yeah. It's not aerobic at all. Completely anaerobic. I'm still rolling, I'm still rolling. Thanks for coming. Anyway, I can't move to us. <laughs> so there we go, my first ever mile race. It was a good experience. What I was saying in the clip just before it ended there is it was completely anaerobic for me. So um, it was an unusual race because all of the races I, have, I do are sort of more targeted towards aerobic training. It felt afterwards like I had almost I'd almost like smoked a cigarette or something in my lungs it was like burning sensation but that's because it was an anaerobic um, effort I was really happy with how it went 4.31.5 was my official time um, and I came fourth place which I was pretty happy with if I'm totally honest I would have liked to have been a little bit more competitive um, the guys who finished fast in second and third um, I'd like to have been up there with those guys competing for the medals but you know 
something to look forward to in the future and hopefully get up to that sort of speed. And I am training for the longer stuff at the moment, so I wouldn't have expected to be able to be in, in mile PB shape, even though it was a PB today because I've never raced a mile. Um, the average was 248 per kilometer, which is faster than I ever run um, any of my five, 10K races, obviously. So I'm pretty happy with that. In terms of the merch, I've got the white uh, Say Sky vest top now on. These were definitely the standout, um, very comfortable material. They're almost like, you can see like a star pattern there. I don't know if you can see it, um, but it's very, very comfortable. And this um, fits very well on the legs, nice and tight. And they were really, really comfortable, especially for that track race and stuff. They didn't uh, restrict my movement at all. So yeah, they, they were definitely the standout um, piece of kit. The vest tops are really nice and comfortable, very lightweight, a very high quality material. As you can see the finish there. Um, I love all the little details and yeah, the branding is really nice. I would say on for me, um, this is a men's small and I wear men's small um, for all my clothing really. Um, they have come up slightly on the large side. Um, as you can see on the shoulders, they a little bit on the on the looser side, um, which is going to be great for training runs, but maybe for a race day singlet, I would have liked to, to be a little bit on the tighter side. But that's my only um, quibble, really. Uh, thank you to Say Sky for sending it over to me. Next video will be reviewing this little guy here, the X Step shoe. So look out for that. And yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more running content. Thanks for your support and all the kind messages. As always, thanks to Say Sky for this awesome running kit. I'm going to continue testing it over the next few weeks in my training. And yeah, eight days till the Stour Valley Path Marathon. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.